Oh, a cold beer. Nope. That doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean a damn thing, guys. What else we got? Oh my god! Hey everyone, Mix here and welcome to the finale of The Fridge is Red. Yes, it has taken me this long to finally finish this game for various reasons, sure. And I be honest with you, I'm actually really relieved that we're at the end of this game for many reasons. But um, there is a lot to say at, about this game and it's to my understanding that this last bit of playthrough is fairly short, so... Buckle up because we do have a lot to talk about about this game here. So enough with the chit chat uh, Let's get to it All right, the last bit of morsel in this fridge, which is titled chili handled What is the spam that the uh, oh, spam with a little bit of shrimp? I think it's shrimp. No, it's intestines <laughs> Wouldn't expect anything different really so let's go ahead and get this started here chili handled and that's the title of this uh, the short story here. Get drunk? That's my uh, objective? But I'm babysitting. Oh my god. Uh, well, I can only inspect this. I like to drink beer in a chair in front of the TV. Alright, well... So drink. How? I can't actually drink this. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, I see. I actually have to tilt it. And... Hold on. I can do this. Here we go. Drink. Drink. I like to drink beer in a chair in front of the TV. Did, did I do it? The, the, the program has to be on. Got it. Okay. I like to drink beer in a chair in front of the TV. Damn it. Drink the remote. There we go. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello. Frank's repair shop. Frank. Would you please drop the other shoe? Yeah. You can bring it in today. Twenty nine ninety eight twelve fifty for East Road. What's a little girl, man? Okay, I think I'm I'm getting drunk. I like to drink Damn beer it. in a chair in Hold front on. of the TV. Let's hang up the phone. There we go. And continue with the drinking. This is weird. This is really weird. Someone has arrived. Someone has... Okay. Can I get up? Oh, I can. There we go. The refrigerator. My fridge is not red. Oh, that's not the front door. Neither is that. Oh, this has got to be a front door right here. <gasps> oh, hello. I was beginning to think there was no one there. Yeah. Okay. Help me get it down to the basement. Fix the fridge. Oh, this is how it started. This is how it starts. The door is down. Any tools to open it. Oh, we've, we've gone full circle, guys. Okay, let's find our tools. Oh my god. 
Oh, wow. The little girl drew that? It's messed up, man. It's real messed up. What is that? I don't remember that being one of the stories. Crowbar. Oh, I can't even pick this up? Seems like a tool I need to pick up, yes? Ah, I picked up a screwdriver. Okay. That's gotta be it, yes? I don't see any brakes inside. I need the liquid compressor. Compressor seems to be damaged. It's covered in something viscous. I need to call to order a new one. Alright, I guess we're going back upstairs and getting drunk. <laughs> we did all we could. Let's go back to the program. I need to make a call. Or, or continue making a call. Hi, it's Frank. I need a compressor for the refrigerator. Same as last time. I told you I'd give it to you next week. Reasonable? It's reasonable. I mean, he already owes him money. I wish I had a cold beer right now. Well, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a seat since there's nothing we can do. I wish I had a cold beer right now. All right, all right, all right. I like to drink beer in a chair in front of the TV. Oh, a cold beer. Nope. That doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean a damn thing, guys. What else we got? Oh my gosh! I'm sorry. I'm really empty. I'm leaving now. Okay. I'm sorry if I scared you. Get out of my house. What in the world? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm really empty. I'm leaving now. Okay. I'm sorry if I scared you. There we go. Okay. Yes. Yes. There. I needed to get the beer from the fridge. I like to drink beer in a chair in front of the TV. This game can get kind of complicated. One more and that's it. One more and that's it? You sure that's not it right now? Because <laughs> it seems like you blacked out. Oh my god, what do you have there? Alright. I don't want to get up. She's gonna go downstairs. She's gonna go downstairs. One, two, four, five, six, ten. I'm coming to look for you. Okay. Let's just uh, check the other rooms, though, just in case. That's not creepy. Something wrong with a plumbing. Okay. Most definitely she is downstairs. 100%. Okay. I can't exactly open up the, uh, the fridge. Broken. Let's check upstairs. She might be in her room. Hello, Lori. What's that? Huh. Uh. Okay, yeah, that's the uh, the wife from the the hospital. Yeah, it's all the stories. I like that they uh, kind of have a 
And this is an, an anthology, but I like how it's all kind of connected to this one story. I do like that. And those are the um, the farmers, the brothers. Okay. Where the hell is our daughter? There you are. Well, it found me again. Let's play again, shall we? It found please? it found me again. <laughs> All right, what do you want to do, Lori? How do we how do we, how do we play again? I suppose I sit that bow. I'm coming to look for you. Okay. I like to drink beer in a chair in front of the TV. Very exciting. Hi, Mom, Liz. Ah! I think I think this is something we need to do is like continue drinking until like the environment changes because it did that earlier where are you daughter where could you be i'm hearing some noises in here okay let's check upstairs i don't know why it's so dark in this house all the lights are on. So as long as we hear like laughter, right? That means that we're uh There you are. Well, it found me again. Why is she still Why referring me to me as it? Shall we please? <laughs> okay. We'll play one more time, Lori. One more time. And then that's it. What the that noise is? It's very alarming. Oh, I fell asleep. <laughs> I fell asleep. That's funny. Okay. Oh, How long has it been? Where's Lori? Lori, where are you? She's downstairs Lori, now. Are you here? Oh, she's definitely down here. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, is this why he's stuck watching the, uh... Watching the fridge? It's Sherry. Yeah, because he's waiting for the fridge to let her go. That's good. That's very creepy. Okay, we gotta find the letters again. Unless, did we start all over? Oh, there it is. Bam. Give me my daughter, you. Give me my daughter. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> oh, shoot. Well, did you expect anything else? Chloe Gill to 1956 and 1992. What? Oh, that's a different person. Oh, that's the mother. Wait. Wait. Was that the mother from the hospital? And now the uh, daughter is dead. Oh, 
I wonder, does this all tie in? Is this the church? The, the, the... Sheriff. Well, what's up with the sheriff's car there? Well. Wow. There you guys have it. That was The Fridge is Red. And, gotta admit, you know, despite the little problems with the gameplay here, which has been actually a common occurrence with all the different stories in this game, um, I thought this was actually one of the better ones out of all the other um, uh, short horror stories within this game. Um, it was a lot easier to actually understand what it was I needed to do um, compared to at least the previous uh, horror stories within this game. Uh, that being said, I think this game is just okay. You know, like I had a lot of problems from uh, not necessarily the start of this game, but um, it was like the second playthrough up till today where I had a lot of issues, but it was mainly because of the gameplay, which is actually a big part because I mean, this is a game. In a game, you play it, <laughs> you know? Um, a lot of the problems had to revolve within the gameplay had to revolve with um, uh, pacing, really. Um, there was a lot of pacing issues where you kind of just had to do this mundane, tedious task that took way too long. I felt like you're just taken away from the whole experience. Um, and I almost feel like it was a lot of padding that the developers wanted to do for this game when they did really didn't need to do that. You know, if they had scrapped so much of this padding, this game would have been like really, really freaking good. Um, now, considering all that, I still think that this game is okay, like I had said. Uh, the atmosphere is very weird and creepy. It really feels like you're, um, you're in some, some kind of twilight zone in this, in this whole game. And each story, I guess, intertwines with each other. I mean, of course, the red refrigerator plays a part in every single story. I kind of do enjoy that. It's a good Easter egg to find. I think I found the fridge in almost every story. I think I did. Um, and it's cool to see how, like, the uh, intro, the introduction of this game, um, kind of went full circle. To the end of this game and involved this really scary story but it also explains why it is that you are staring at this fridge because you're trying to get your daughter back so overall it's like i said this game is okay is it worth the amount of money that i spent on this which i think was about 15 dollars i don't know i, I want to say yes i mean if it were a 20 dollar game i'd be like no no um, if it were a $10 game, it'd be like, sure, 14 is kind of just like, it really depends on your own taste. You know, if you're a fan of analog horror, if you're a fan of the PSX aesthetic, if you're a fan of these uh, liminal spaces uh, kind of games, then yeah, this is going to be your bag. For me, I am a fan of all three of those elements of horror, but the execution in this needed a lot of work. So... That's really going to be it for my review. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this whole experience. Have you yourself played this game the whole way through? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Uh, but until then, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please do not forget to smash that like. And if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing as well as ring the bell so that you are notified for the next video. And that's going to be it for today. I want to thank you so much again for watching. My name is MigsXL, and I will see you in the next video.